So this is what I'm messing around with today. I, used to, I played this like several months ago, I think. Um, so some addition, there's Amico Synth Garden. Uh, <clears throat> otherwise, I mean, and then in, I've trophied with one with Ledger Shredder instead of the Goblin Package, so trying the Goblin Package instead. Um, with some tutor targets, Kappa, Thought Monitor, Possessed Portal, Trinity, Tangle Wire, Crucible, Time Seed for the combo. Uh, the sideboard's kind of crazy. I'm mostly copying it from a list I saw. Um, so I just changed some stuff. The, the three volcanics seem weird just for the flusters in this, but I mean, what do I know? So we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. Definitely, I always love Asmo, so I'd be, I love like being able to play Asmo in Legacy. No street rates is a concern, so we're really, but Mox not so Mox the big ways to trigger to get Asmo turn one or Mox Diamond, um, and Cookbooks. That's like eight ways to get the four of into play, which is you know pretty reasonable, I think. Hmm, Kappa is not what we want. Let's see, turn one, turn two. We can do like a tangle wire, turn three, and then weld it out. Maybe, maybe, yeah, I'll try it. Go like this, 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 this. Then we have this, and we can weld this away. Like, end of their turn, then weld it back in our turn for four more counters. So, no, it seems interesting. Wasteland, Aether Vial. It's like Merfolk? Hmm. Play this now. In case it's like a Chalice of the Void deck. They can get some Merfolk? They do waste, okay. Goblins. Wow. Did not know what year we were in. They have double lackey. Yeah, they have to have double lackey, right? Well, that's really unlucky for me. I ne I haven't faced goblins in like three months, and then they have vile double lackey. It's so typical, you know. Yeah, I mean, if I'm fucked, I'm fucked. They have, like, the Matron in also. Palishing with... Oh, their hand's pretty fucking terrible. Of course, they have double fucking Wasteland. Damn. Like, the difference of play draw, right? It's kind of insane. They either play Vile or, either, or Waste Dust. They play Vile, obviously. How do we win? I mean, I guess we can still technically win. <sighs> Tangle Wire is pretty big game.
Yeah, now I can like weld this away, get my mox opal back, play Trinosphere, wasteland them, weld the tr the tangle wire back in. Yeah, yeah, always. So they're banging on top decking. Sure, that's fine. Man, we got a cookbook for some foods, and we're, like, legitimately in business here, huh? So we will have to tap three here. So we'll tap Tangle Wire. Tap. Man, I could try to play Oval Chase next turn. Just have a 4 2 blocker. But once this dies, they could ping here, so that's pretty fucked. Uh, what do I have? They top deck the waste. Three wastelands on their mold of six. Three wastelands vile, huh? That's, uh, that's smart. Those are smart things to top deck. A cookbook, like, if we just had a cookbook at any point, or an Asmo, we can get Kappa, we could have just welded in Kappa Cannon here to block, would have been pretty nuts. Alright, at least we know what we're facing. I would just fucking deck plays, like, uh, Triple Wasteland, apparently. They top deck the Muxus. Yeah, right, sure. Makes sense. Cool. Some decent cards, at least. I mean, we have stuff. Hmm. What the cut? Trim a little of everything, I guess. Also, oh man, there's a mulligan. There, but now we're talking. Keep baby. Uh, I think I don't need ancient gem.
they brought in surgical, that'd be pretty annoying. Okay. They did not. Hopefully they're on a vile start. I mean, a uh, lackey start, not a vile start, obviously. But of course they're on fucking turn one vile. Uh, they get the foul for comp if they don't fucking have vile on turn one, you know? Oh man, it's annoying. It's like it's not like they could respond anyway, you know what I mean? Just like let it resolve then read it. This is what I said, like, you need a pet thing at all. And they're wasting us. Cool. Action spell. Hmm. Plague Engineer, huh? A fucking uh, academy manufacturer would be fucking insane. God, what a terrible fucking deck! Holy shit! Look at like look at this mana base. Imagine if I was smart enough to run a pithy needle. Alright, got a lot of food. It is a 25 land deck, like... Am I supposed to hold this in case I draw Mox Diamond? Yeah, I could see that actually. Yeah, I'm probably supposed to hold the last Great Furnace. Because I shouldn't have bought him the Ancient Town. I was worried about life loss early, but, you know, it didn't matter at all. I hate when this happens. I, I get bored and I start to misplay. It's really frustrating. Like using four minutes and someone uses nine. It's just, it's just like so hard to keep my attention. Wow, they had a pyrokinesis. Like, probably the only card that mattered, huh? Cool. Yeah, it is the only card that mattered, right? And they were they were really tanking on whether or not to play. Do I remove the card that uh that can kill every single thing I play or not? <laughs>
Getting a crater maker. Wow, that sucks, huh? What a wild game to lose. <laughs> I like, we, we drew like, uh, just cookbook lands. <laughs> so weird. So fucking weird. Don't they have like a two mana lord they can get here? The fuck is going on? This is very frustrating. I like I'd rather just get like reanimated on turn one. <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Destroy all three cookbooks. Alter lands, maybe. I probably would destroy all three lands, if we're being honest. I'm doing it now before they could violin like a shitty goblin to do something. And again, they, they went after a food token instead of my land. I did cut one manufacturer. Cause your hand just like muxes and I'm dead. I hope muxes flips fucking six red sources. <laughs> Wow, Pyrokinesis, Mog, War Marshal, huh? I 
I'm gonna lose when my opponent has like two minutes on the clock, aren't I? Because they drew triple port wasteland, double vial. The like Crucible of Worlds is how I like actually get out of the game, get out of a lock. I already have like under I have cookbooks there already, so like. Wow, triple port. It's wild. They can only double port me. I guess if I waste then they can't play like one drop into something else, one or two drop into double port. What an enthralling game. Yeah, that's why I did that. They, they drew the the four, uh, the war trail. They drew the fourth matron. That would be so sick. What an insane fucking... What's up, Mike? Like, I'm going to have 10 minutes on clock. My patience, like... <laughs> reversing Goblin for the first time in a year. <laughs> Just, like, got double... I did triple port, double Kinesis, double Wasteland. Like, I'm tilted at myself for not putting a Pith Mule on this fucking deck. So, there's a combination of emotions. They want all the kind of manufacturers. Make a time, Steve. I don't think I'm gonna get the combo. Blue black is hard. Turn one welder, turn two sudden shock. They have lackey. Fucking vile always, dude. 
They get the file for comp if they don't have vial on turn one. It's so fucking sick. Munitions expert, obviously. Holy moly, huh? The fucking nutter butters. Now all of a sudden they're playing fast after wasting fucking 20 minutes o'clock. And of course they have a wasteland. They literally have had just like every game several wastelands and ports. It's been pretty fucking irritating. Age of two. Age of two. Having a nine drop in my hand kind of sucks. I'm ready to get ported now. <laughs> Obviously. Ah, uh, yes. In my 25 land deck. <laughs> 25 lands. Goblins outdrawing me in lands, then I draw Mox Diamond. How fucking appropriate is that? Holy shit, man. It is just so, it's so tilting. Like, they have fucking eight minutes on the clock. Like, no one wants, and, and the thing is, like, no one wants to sit and watch that. It's like viewers leave because it's so fucking, like, it's just so intolerable. It's just like so fucking uninteresting. They have Muxus in hand. I need to draw like a cookbook and an Asmo in the same draw step. If I draw one, if, I, if they have nothing and I draw a cookbook, we have a shot. It's like they just took an Adderall and just decided to play this game quickly. And they hit Trash Master. Like, people are so fucking lucky. It's so insane. Like, play so badly. And then they played badly, that's not true. But like, played so slowly, like a bad deck. And then, just like, nut into it. It's frustrating. Well, oh, fuck. It's 
Sand's pretty trash. Uh, I know, so he's always on Mavericks. Like, Green Sun Oof is going to be bad. So we really have to get, like, an Asmo start, I'm pretty sure. Um... Yeah, this hand's fucking insane. So we get rid of Bloodstained Mire. This should be really good against his fair ass deck. I guess like a turn one bird is annoying. Turn two, like bird into green sun on two is pretty brutal. So. This is nice because I can basically pitch all my lands now. Okay. That's. Is that is that like perfect? Need Noble Chase, baby. So this can get me back Goblin Engineer, right? Drawing Mox Diamond, Mox Diamond is kind of a tilt. Damn, they drew a green sign. Alright, a lot of draws. Oh my god, they drew Dork Dork, fuck. How about I draw Asmo, Asmo? Are they on the Punishing Fire version? I guess it's better than like a Minskin Boo. So we know the last card is not a land. Holy shit, man. Oh, uh, fuck. This gets them back. That's annoying. Uh, 
Oh, I, I forgot to discard it. I'm just kind of tilted that we drew seven lands in a row. I'm letting it affect me. Do I want a gardens, a cookbook? I think so. Because if I draw oval chase, I really want to have like all three. I could have one more food in play. Let's see if that matters. We have Punishing Fire Unknown. fire mm, they just hit spine so oh my god we can sack a cookbook to get back thought monitor which will then oh this is so insane So, so I can make Mikosynth Gardens a cookbook, sacrifice the cookbook to get a creature back, and then play Mikosynth Gardens from my graveyard for Crucible of Worlds. It's kind of sick. <laughs> it's kind of sick. Uh, Goblin Engineer is going to be tough versus Punishing Fire. I think that's all my cookbooks, right? Or do they shuffle one in? They draw a third plow. God damn. Triple plow. It's annoying. So the punishing fire there. So this will make them have to punishing fire this. So I guess we'll get Academy Manufacturer. Cause I can underworld that back.
Alright, this should be game. This should be fucking game. I just made out the four minutes plus that. Oops. I read this close three to then do. I think we'll just pass here. I have found the gesture wave sign. They have punishing fire unknown. Another land, okay. Let's see if they drew an endurance. They did not. So I have a lot of game objects. One asthma left though, which is kind of annoying. A noble hierarch. So if I get time sieve, I just win. Wow, we drew the asthma. That's kind of insane. Uh, so I guess we'll draw a card with a clue. Okay, this, this card's going to be fucking insane, isn't it? This cannoneer is, uh... <laughs>
Can I win? There's probably a way I could win this turn, huh? I could probably, if I draw, like, exactly, uh... No, I'm not that... <laughs> yeah, that's the way to go out. All right, oh, we got the easy one. I do have a lot of ways to take care of. Uh, I, I at least have three ways to take care of. Uh, what you gonna call it? Collector roof. Um, Trinosphere is actually kind of like whatever. Possessed Portal is whatever. I think Portal to Phyrexia is better if we're going to do with something like that. Um, Mox Opal. I don't think I'd ever want. Second Lantern doesn't seem very impressive. And thing or maybe not good against them. Like I have Ensnaring Bridge, I think, which is better, so I think that's it. What a wild game though. Our man uh, is uh hitting us up, huh? Yeah, that's probably the beefiest cannon you ever had. So we have, like I think Oof is really the only card that matters. Like the endurance stuff when we went through it. Force of vigor. Like there's like two things that matter, I think. I think it's like I don't know, let's, let's just run it. Okay. Um I, I've trophied with this deck before. See if they just have the the natural the old natty oof, it looks like it. A seven line break, huh? Play my little one three. No abilities. And plow be pretty pretty fucking rude. Pretty fucking rude. Sure. <laughs> Not paying anything. What a coward. I could have played this last turn. That's probably a mistake. That's fine.
think I do this. Because then I can have like a engineer, they do something, I respond engineer type situation. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead, dude. Here's the one I did. That was the one that uh, I, I've done well with. So Barkin, hope you're doing well. Got a big battle versus Mark here. Game one was uh, pretty fire. Okay, I'm gonna, they're gonna get a crop rod for like a waste here. Yeah, that's neat. It's close to what I was doing. My deck was before, uh, you know, Fable got printed and all that shit. They have a plow also. Dude. My man is just being pretty fucking rude. Yeah, they, they, like I said, they have to get waste from my waste here. Oh, waste for my Valk, huh? Wilds. Hmm. Damn. Man, I supposed to do target this first then target that in response before I ticked it would require me losing this but I'm probably going to lose this anyway uh, probably been better I think I missequenced this like just giving it to me one two three four five Pass here. They keep a card, huh? I was like, that's not lethal, right? They could just do like 10. Like 10 each. I just take this, right? I think I just take this. 8. They waste themselves. 9, 10. They'll get me, I guess, if they have like a crop rotation. Yeah, okay. I was like, I don't, I don't think it's lethal, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. Wow. They have endurance. 
Endurance is the only thing that makes sense here. But then endurance, would they really exile my yard? Maybe. Maybe they're so far ahead. I mean, they aren't. I could attack. I mean, I just have a lot of blockers. I probably don't have to attack. Red, sack this, get that back. I don't know how to do anything. Am I supposed to. Attack? The fuck is in their hand? I think they would have endurance. Maybe another four doesn't matter. Pass, I guess. I can gain three life. I can draw a card. This is really weird. I'm not sure what they have. It's a really tough. They did not pay eight. So this is probably one card, right? They snap played the. Interesting game, though. A lot more interesting than the last one. Oh, Hardcast Force, I think. Uh, Green Sun for three. Probably to get an oof here. Just draw a card and pass. Drawing three welders and no, um, three engineers and no welders was kind of tough also because we could have gotten like uh oh really they played a land this turn right See what we draw here. They have Force of Vigor as well. Force of Vigor green card, last cards.
we'll do this. Then I can use my treasure to get the cookbook back, which doesn't seem great. Could draw a card. I think that's probably worth it. Yeah, that's good. Huh. Huh, you say? So I can get ensnaring bridge. I can take this out. Yeah, bridge is bridge is interesting. So I think I sack I get crucible back by sacking here, because the land drop is free. Then I can do like furnace. Cookbook. Discard and snaring bridge. Play Asmo. Take this out. And then it's whether I get bridge now or I think I get bridge now to play around endurance. It would make them have to have like exactly force of vigor. Now I'm gonna leave this back in case they actually draw. And then I can, I think I'm still alive. Like. Oh, that card doesn't matter. That card doesn't matter at all. Okay. Whoo. Oh my god, can I get a lock here? I don't, think, I don't think I can get a lock. I don't have the mana. Well, I, I could pitch it, goblin engineer it. Yeah, if we draw Oval Chase, we should win. They're going to get Bajuka Bog. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. But Jukabog is really the only thing that matters right now. Okay. So we get Time Sieve. Getting rid of... Uh, I have like a food token. And 
And this this will help me get another card. This could get me a. Uh... I really need like an oval chase here because then I can get a soul guide in one turn. Are you saying GGs? Oh my god. Wow. Welder's insane, actually. How much mana do I have? I could I could discard. That makes me a treasure. I'm trying to think, do I pop an Underworld cookbook to get back Thought Monitor, play Thought Monitor, then get back another cookbook to discard? Fucking sweet. Beating the Collector Roof deck, which I typically lose to. That's fucking sweet. Oh man. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Wild game. That was a wild game. The old Mox Diamond one land, huh? I mean, I'm definitely keeping it because we have Cookbook, Asthma, Oval Chase, Daredevil. Like, I'm not going to draw a land and we're going to lose, but, I mean. Chancellor of the... <laughs> oh my god, fucking nerds, dude. Get a life. There's either Mono White or Reanimator. I'm on away. Land. Land. So sick. I'm so good at this fucking game. It's not even like... I don't know if people understand how good I am at this game. Nice one, one. Be a shame if there was just oh the natural fucking Caracas, huh? Sure. Checks out. Though every time they do that, I get another cookbook. <laughs> so that's fine. I'm, just gonna, I'm definitely just gonna attack here.
Maybe I should have, uh... Nah. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to play the Goblin Engineer here. Cycling deal. Am I supposed to get a Crucible of Worlds? Yeah, it didn't matter. <laughs> Turn one chance to have the NX. Sure. So there's some dumb mono white garbage. Um. Read is probably worth it. Soul Guy Lantern doesn't seem very good. Trinosphere doesn't seem great. Tangle Wire and Crucible seem to serve similar functions, and Possessed Portal is more for controlling decks. This time sieve is so fucking... Mm. It's like a mulligan to four, really. Okay. Sure, I'll just throw an oval chase off the top. It's almost an oval chase. Like an archon. Rest in peace. 
Okay. And pithing needle. What are you naming with that? Cookbook, huh? the turn one turn later saga I feel like that could be good okay, I'm pretty sure we can attack pretty freely here I don't know what I'm worried about not having a uh, pith needle has come up a lot, though. I mean, next turn I'm just going to play a Kappa. Yeah. Pretty, pretty rude. Big Daddy Shindy. What's up? Thank you for the fun. Here, I think we just float. I really just want to play Kappa this turn. I think that's like our route to victory. With Cookbook's Needle, I don't know what we can even get here. What's even left in the deck? There's like, there's literally nothing left in the fucking deck. Um... I make a token, I'm one short, right? Make a token, then I have one, two, three, four, five. Huh. Yeah, there's nothing. Sure. Oh, you, you won the Legacy Challenge? That's cool, dude. Congratulations. Oh, it's, yeah, it's reanimate. <laughs> it's, it's, it's reanimated with the sideboard package. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's like, you know, we, we, when you play in Tomb, Exum, reanimate, I don't know how spicy you could get, but I mean, the sideboard package to fade hate is interesting. So, but congratulations. Um, yeah. Obviously, it worked for you taking down a whole challenge, so. Just keep keep crushing. Yeah, no, I mean, but yeah, like, hey, if it works, um, I, I don't really have much input on uh, reanimator decks. I don't know, you know, what I mean, like, I can't really critique or say how much better than average. I guess it would be because I don't just I just don't play the deck. But uh, like I said, obviously you're you're crushing, so keep it up. Yeah, the Unmarked Grave sort of speeded up. Agonim's Awakening, I guess, is interesting. I guess because of the Chromox. Uh, the Sire of Insanity doesn't seem great. Has that been good? Yeah. 
I mean, winning with that sideboard is impressive. Like, the sideboard doesn't look great at first, but obviously, it uh, you juke people, so... They're not making a token, which seems kind of nutty to me. Getting a Chrome Mox? What's happening right now? Are they pitching a Solitude and paying four? Oh, they're plowing and paying four. Okay, sure. Then they go to seven? Jeez, um, I have to be favored here by a million, right? So now this is lethal. And then next turn, the other two constructs, then both constructs will be lethal. I could play like a goblin as you know, get like a bad card out of my deck that I want to draw. Yeah, I guess it worked with uh, Unmarked, yeah. The non whole non legendary thing. Yeah. It'd be really. Do they have the the ghostly flicker as well? If they were really tanking on like solitude blink, <laughs> they really had like the nut, and then we're tanking on it. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> they literally had like the best possible thing, and we're thinking about it. Like, yeah, that's that's a good that's good. You should do that. Uh I can't remove this, right? So I can never play I guess I could play this one with Mox Diamond. Um I guess let's just play Goblin Engineer and get like a terrible card out of my deck. But I can't remove Rest in Peace, right? Yeah, all right, so let's get rid of Portal to Phyrexia, as I will not be playing that. <laughs> that's that's so funny. They were like, should I solitude the construct or die? Yeah, it's maybe Bridge in the Good Verse to touch the Spirit Realm deck. <sighs> so I guess I just bring in Smash this and Haywire am I? It? Oh my god so slow and powder keg okay I'm 
Double as no, kind of annoying. Like playing, and they miss damage by not playing powder keg beforehand. Kind of weird. They did not put a counter on it. They want to destroy this and this only. This is confusing. Yeah, but uh, I'll bring in the uh, I'll bring in Haywire Might and smash at us now. They both seem fine. Because I have no way to get a food token in play, so. I'm really just hoping to draw like sagas, I guess. Yeah, now I could draw sagas since they take that up. I'm so smart. All right, I'm playing ensnaring bridge here to make them tick up the powder keg to three. Yeah, I'm gonna make them tick up the powder keg to three. Yeah, all right, cool. Now I could hit underworld cookbook play asmo and do just insane shit so okay it should be fine they run why why is this in the deck why is your recruiter of the garden this deck why <laughs> like it's so bizarre to me what is that doing there Alright. They're about to get fucked up. We just got to go like boom, boom, boom. It's really funny. They do get the gain three here, which is kind of annoying. First pass here. So I'm gonna put this at three, kill my manufacturers. Play a Lauren. Then Asmo kills Lauren.
I saw it, I guess. <sighs> kind of wild that we're like even in this. Kind of wild that we are even in this game. Versa, <laughs> rest in peace, solitude, blink, pith needle, powder keg, Lauren. A ganja? Oh. Hmm. Okay. I love how I have fucking seven cards to draw here. What's up, hip hop? Wow, what a crazy win. Just nuts. <laughs> just just like, I almost conceded. I almost just dropped. Uh, I'm going to use the restroom. I'll be right back. This game's taking a long time. All right. Thanks, Dr. D, for the follow. Um, <clears throat> this is like a saga hand. Yeah, I always lose the saga, so let's just try it. We'll, we'll, we'll just run out the soul guide. In case they're on reanimator. Make any hand disruption bad. Oh, they're in shadow. Okay. No shuffle. Rough.
pretty bad. Pretty bad draws. It's like a him. Or a Strix. <laughs> sure. So we'll just get a cookbook. Good thing I have a snuff out here. We do, okay. Holy fuck my life, huh? I'm not gonna look at who that is, but I could take a guess. <laughs> What's up, Mark? Interesting games earlier, buddy. But what the deck did, the deck doesn't do anything. Sure. I'm such a shit talker. Should we play around Murktide here? Probably have to, right? I'm glad I did. Mm. Really, like an Asmo should like win the game on its own. You can draw lands as well. It's cool. It's almost like, almost like an Asma. Main deck Dalty Voidwalker, fuck my life, dude. Draw four lands and run the main deck Dalty fucking Voidwalker. I was unfucking lucky, man. Snuff out number three. That's enough beef jerky. Oh, that's it.
I think I was supposed to cast the Oval Chase Daredevil last turn. I don't know the well back soul guide and draw card off a food token, maybe. Hey, Army Doc, how you doing? Yeah, next turn I think I have to cast the Oval Tears. Hmm. Damn, we are not we are not drawing the bangers. Okay, just kidding. Just kidding. See if they have a hard cast for, or uh, they need they need to have a non hard cast force here. Wow. Okay. Snuff out. If they, have, if they have third, snuff out. It puts them to one. Uh, best possible card. We did draw the best possible card also. So, you know. How it goes. I'm trying to think what they need here. They need they they I think they need snuff out exactly. It, ha it has to be snuff out because this always gives me something. Even if they like him me, I can make a token come into play. I can also just welder back a time sieve to make sure this gets unblockable. Okay. Play a soul guide? Okay. Take the time save, sure. Right. Like I said, if they have exact the fourth snuff out or the third snuff out, they're they're fine. But now uh no Voidwalker, so I get to oval chase infinitely again, which is cool. Okay. Yeah, like they're I mean they're dead on board. <laughs> like I don't have to do anything. Alright. Wow, getting there versus fucking shadow. It's kinda cool. It's 
Tampa Cannoneer. That's why we run one, right? That's why we run the one. Trinitaire seems great versus them. <clears throat> Power Blast seems fine, I guess. They have Void Walker. Oh, we need Void Walker answers. Void Walker's a 3-2. Let's bring both these in. Let's bring in everything that kills Void Walker. Um, then we trim a Mox Diamond, a Welder, a Manufactor. Um, Mike, which uh, Mark, what should I uh, what should I sideboard? You seem like you know what you're doing with this deck. Time sieve, I think, is like not gonna happen ever. Take out like the things that involve the graveyard. Uh, oh wait, I can leave that. Sure. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, we go Saga Pass. They went turn one, fetch shock, brainstorm. Interesting. That's a line you're legally allowed to take. Sure. Yeah, I'm only like a 1200. I'm not, you know, nothing crazy. Tangle Wire with all the food tokens from the cookbook is so sick. You know, it's so bizarre because I, I faced, yeah, I, I play, depends on like the days I'm streaming, I face so many. Um, like, I'll, like I'll go four or five leagues with not one Murktai deck and then I'll just face five in a row. It's, it's such a weird mixed bag type thing. Took the Tangle Wire, kind of makes sense. A Gurmag Angler? You're missing one. Yeah. Or just Murktide, okay. One, two, three. The Murktide is weak as shit, right? Isn't there just a 5-5? Five, five? Oh, the 6-6-6-6, six, 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 okay. Okay. Can we beat a 6-6 six, six Murktide? I was gonna get cookbook. Do I get Mox Opal here instead? I mean, this is revolving.
So we can get cookbook, we'll do the oval chase thing. They have like a surgical? I mean, they have, they're dead on board even if they have surgical. Dress down, okay. Yeah, dress down is essentially the only card with text here, so that makes sense. I think I just waste this. Hmm. Oh, I forgot. I made a mistake here. Uh, I was thinking about like going the end step and then making a treasure and the the have the colors floating to to do that, but yeah, I just made a mistake there. I just <clears throat> excuse me, that's just like a little bit of a throw. Yeah, no, they still haven't put those cards on Moto. It's kind of frustrating. See if they have dressed in again. Basically, this is just like, do you have dressed in or not? Well, that's the best hymn to Turok I think I've ever cast. One colorless mana, <laughs> discard, force of will, and Merc Tide.
see if they have a snuff out here. I didn't want to go like Ancient Tomb and Snaring Bridge into days. Was sort of my thing. I, I sort of want to get this into play. Weld and Snaring Bridge for Underworld Cookbook. Discard Kappa Cannoneer and then Weld Cannoneer in. Oh, for the food token is sort of my line right now. Or they just don't have a land and I win, which would be pretty awesome. We can get cookbook back. Play this. <laughs> they have another Merc Tide? Just had double Merc Tide? Oh, Balfour Strike, sure. Uh, Academy Manufacture does plus three, so this is lethal next turn. No, they should ban initiative mechanic. I feel like they should ban the initiative mechanic. Like, I'm fine with that. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. So I have to just declare attackers. this fucking sweet 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 deck's awesome only losses the fucking goblins getting wasted and ported out but uh <laughs> exceeded expectations exceeded expectations yeah literally just fair got like just, just fair goblin. Like they between all three games, they had like seven ports and six wastelands, and they had a vial on turn one. All three games, just like, you know, what can you do? Post board like double pyrokinesis for miasmas. I mean, that's... it figures. It figures I'd beat Shadow, a collector oof deck. Um... 
<laughs> what else did I beat? I don't remember. Oh, initiative. Like, and I lost the fucking goblins. It's just so irritating. Well, that hand seems pretty trash. Oh my god, this hand needs that... F uh, I mean, I'm gonna keep it. It just needs that stupid fucking... This is literally the nuts. I have to put, like, mox up, I guess. Just needs cookbook. Like, if this was cookbook, this hand's insane. It might be, like, a turn... Like, it might be, like, reanimator. No decisions matter, though, so... All, all four, all four, Matt, like, this has been two, over two hours. Fucking insane, man. Oh, is this, uh, Vengevine? Yeah, wow, it's fucking Vengevine. Sure. Oh, snap. Hey, what's going on? Hope you had a good stream. I, I have not faced his deck in several months. So I wouldn't say that it's back. I just, I, like, it's probably a fluke. But hope you had a good stream. Uh, I was poking in. I know you're doing pretty well in that uh, prelim. So hopefully you closed it out. Like an Angie's Ravager. What's this? This is 10... I don't think we really have any outs. Even if I draw a cookbook at this point, it's probably too late. We were on the draw, which was pretty dumb of us. Uh, post board, we could have to bring in plug here. We don't really get to bring in too, too much. This is like one of the best starts they could have had, right? Hmm. Damn. This is so, yeah, if we were on the play, we started like one turn away, huh? Tangle wire, tap, 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 tap. Yeah. Manufacturer doesn't do it. Don't want to show them anything else. Just show them the Badlands. Alright. Uh, do we want Ley Lines? It's really just for Vengevine. Uh, cup Possess Portal. Tangle Wire, I think, is terrible. Trinosphere is awesome. Soul Guide Lantern. Yeah, I think we don't need Ley Lines. We have Soul Guide Lantern, like... It is what it is. Smash it us. And Snaring Bridge we definitely want. Uh, we probably want Haywire Mike because they might think we're a reanimator deck and they might bring in like Leyline. So I think we want an out to that. Plague Engineer. Are, are, they, are, are all the Root Wallows like Lizards? Are they all the same? Are they, boy, are they, I think they are. I, I haven't seen this thing in forever. It's a, it's a lizard, huh? Yeah, they are lizards, right? Thought so. Thought they're both lizards. So, Plague Engineer seems fine. Thank you for the follow. Was that Joaquin Boaz? <laughs> I think. A braid actually seems fine. It can kill the idiots or um, hollow one. Time save seems greedy. They want all my tutors here. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think I think plug here. I, I doubt it'll come up, but it seems like pretty reasonable. I think I have to just go turn one. Uh, turn one soul guide in case they have a Vendron start here. But yeah, they may think I'm unreal. Maybe they saw just Badlands and Concede, so... All right, um, or 
Well, they might force a vigor me and I'll feel real dumb. Yeah, it's so weird. I haven't yeah, I haven't seen this like in a long time. Forgot it existed. Yep, they did bring in the Land of the Void. There you go. Let's see how many hollow ones they have. Helping as shit. I know, like raw format, buddy. I mean, they're 3-0. I, I, no one's expecting it. You, you, I don't think anyone's expecting it. So, so we just have to get smacked here, right? Yeah. Uh, Asmo can at least take down one of them next turn. Oh, that's that's such a fucking that's a banger. If I ever drew a banger. I'm gonna lose on defense. Something weird happens. Oh, the hand is like three ley lines and a land. I was gonna say, that's actually like pretty good for us. That hit Academy Manufacturer. Okay. And they discarded two ley lines. That's I was right. They had they had two ley lines that actually discarded two and got to keep the spells that matter. Oh, but they can't play the Angie's Ravenger, so silver lining. Yeah, we're definitely just we just have to take three here. Hopefully the last card is an Angie's Ravager. Probably didn't draw double Angie's Ravager with LED. Actually, Engineer is kind of sick, right? I might have, because this can get in Snaring Bridge. I think I actually have to play this. I think I actually have to play this. I just pass. They might not have an out for ensnaring bridge. They don't. Okay. So we, we just win. I guess I didn't even have to do that, but I'm going to draw a card here.
Fucked it. They know it's in Stanley Bridge. Alright, um... Protophyrexia actually seems good. Smash the Dust was pretty clutch there. I'm glad we brought Haywire Might in. Um... Thought Monitor can maybe come out. All right, this is for the four one. Can we get there? So close to being capable. Wow, just 25 land deck. Um, just... They have Leyline, right? I mean, if they have Leyland, I'd probably still put those two back, but... Oh, no, Leyland, holy shit. Okay. Do you have the nuts? Yeah, they do have the nuts, damn. Okay. Okay, okay. So our goal is just to play a welder and pass. <laughs> That's our turn one play. <laughs> this is our this is our whole life right here. <laughs> Ancient Grudge. We draw. We draw a, a mana. We just need to draw land. Twenty-five land deck. Cool. Literally, if we draw land, we discard portal, weld it in, wipe their board. <laughs> we literally just had to draw land. How dumb of us not to. Damn, and we know the bottom two cards aren't lands either, so that's just like 23 lands in the top uh, 52. Brutal. How about a Burning Inquiry, huh? Oh, I'm probably just dead here. I'm probably just dead. Yeah, Breaking on Land killed it. Yeah, just so, so unlucky. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we, I mean, we mold a one-lander, mold a one-lander, kept a one-lander, and then died, so. Pretty uninteresting finish to a, a pretty interesting league. Um, which is a shame. Oh, shit, I got a groundbreaker. Wrong, forgot me. Hmm. Alright, uh... Any edits to this deck? Uh, yeah, Time Steve, I don't think is necessary. I think that was like overkill. But this Portal, I think, also should come out. I think Portal to Phyrexia is probably like fine main deck, and Standard Bridge is probably fine main deck. Um, and then, like, you want you want to, like this stuff is all like the Kappa Kenir, Thought Monitor, Crucible, like tra like all these were really good. Tangle Wire was not very good, but I could see why maybe it might be good at some point. I don't know. And your sideboard could be cleaner. I mean, the Smash to Dust was, I thought was weird, but it actually was like good. Like good versus Goblins is good for Hollow One and stuff. Uh, we beat uh, Rest in Peace in play. 
Mm, yeah, maybe Dragon Engine. I could see Dragon Dragon Engine seems fine. Uh, but I mean, we have like Thought Monitor. But is Dragon Engine better? Probably. Then you're only playing blue for Kappa, but Kappa's so insane. It's probably worth it. But you don't need three Volcanics at that point. But, uh, yeah, maybe you want, you want to play Stomp Monitor with Dragon Engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, Dragon Engine seems like a pretty sweet addition. Um, yeah, think about that. It's a good idea. And your sideboard you can clean up for whatever you think you're going to face. You know, luckily, yep, and you have Flusters. With, with the way this is built, you can spl splash blue for Fluster. Or you could add more Pyroblasts. You could, uh... Yeah, Chaos Defiler. I mean, that's that card is something I wanted to play with, uh, you know, on Moto. But uh, Chaos Defiler is awesome if you're going to play this on paper. I, I think any red-black uh, welder deck should have Chaos Defiler. 100% with uh, Harry on that. Um, Harry, I hope you didn't... I, I messed Mark up bad earlier. I messed him up real, real bad. Uh, <laughs> I had, like, 400 game objects. <laughs> this is great. Um, but you could run, like, I don't know, it depends how much, um, artifact stuff you want and how much sorcery, like, you need that balance, you know? The Sudden Shock could probably come out, but the Abrade smash it with Pyroblast, Dismember, like, we, we, we used all of these, uh, the Ley Lines I think you want, don't want to leave home with that, right? So you, you, you can, like, mess around, I think the Flushes are nice, so. Yeah, Capo's really good, Capo's fucking insane but like, i can see why you don't want too many uh kappas though i can see it being awkward um with with the build 